this is my demonstration tree in my front yard. We had 110 degrees yesterday. We've been constantly getting temperatures in the hundreds. And I was out of town, so I didn't get a chance to water the lawn. And as you can see, this tree is in my lawn. I didn't water it. And this happened. I don't know if you guys can see. Some of the new growth got a little bit charred. And it's unusual because I've never had this tree. It's never had any damage like this. Seems like I, oh, look at this one's really bad right here. It's only about a hundred right now. And uh, it's supposed to get another 110 today. But if you look, Overall, the tree is doing good. But I had, uh, about two weeks ago, I had hit the tree with some nit or not the tree, the, my front yard with some nitrogen. And uh, because the lawn was a little, needed a little greening up. And lo and behold, apparently, some of the roots, I, I, I knew this would happen, so I tried to keep the fertilizer away, but there's some roots right down here coming out into the, into the lawn and I picked up that nitrogen went right into the leaves as you can see yeah we got some crispies but here we got uh, old Mr. Big Black Johnson avocado he's doing really good it didn't damage any of the fruit I didn't see here's some damage here you can see as you can see there's Mexicola Grandes <clears throat> sitting out in the full sun it didn't bother him I'm so surprised see Mexico La Grande hanging free it's not even buried into the uh, tree but it uh, didn't get damaged none of them got damaged Let's see lamb ass lamb ass is doing pretty good they're kind of lamb ass is kind of out of the uh, out of the full sun they tend to be hanging in the, the shade of the tree can't believe it. So yeah, I turned on sprinklers this morning and, and I, I noticed that. Wow, that's terrible. So what did I learn from this killer heat wave? <laughs> it actually wasn't a killer, but it sure did damage my avocado tree. And I have learned that you should not put nitrogen fertilizer anywhere near your avocado tree in advance of a heat wave. As I mentioned, we were 112 one day this month. We were 110, twice, 108, 109. And as you can see, the damage is, while not severe, it is localized severe. And um, fortunately, today our temperatures have dropped and we were only about 100. The next week, we're only supposed to be in the upper 90s. So you have to be very careful with your fertilizer and your watering regime whenever it comes to these extreme heat waves. I have a feeling we're gonna keep getting them. So yeah, make sure in the summer you do not put any uh, high nitrogen fertilizer anywhere near where the avocado tree can get it. It creates a rapid growth and that rapid growth gets fried. So let's take a look at my other tree. This is the Wilma tree. It's on the north side of my driveway uh, in full sun. And it takes the brunt of the heat just as my other tree did. And as you can see, this one is has no heat damage. Absolutely zero. I had uh, only fer put fertilizer on my lawn on the south side of my driveway, and I did not put any nitrogen fertilizer on this lawn at the base of this tree. And so this tree doesn't have any damage. It experiences the same extreme sunshine and heat that the other tree did, the one that has my multi-graft queen and lamb has and so on and so forth. 
but as you can see, this one needs a little bit of uh, fertilizer, but I am not gonna put any high nitrogen fertilizer because apparently the roots sink down into the soil and then run out through the lawn. And I'm not gonna put any fertilizer here because the tree's doing okay and it does not need to be, uh, as you can see, there's <laughs> a lot of fruit on this. Those are the Wilmos. And you can see the leaves, while maybe a little yellowing, not too bad, it's doing pretty good. No damage. But yeah, I'm not going to put any, uh, look at that guy's lawn. <laughs> it's doing really good, but uh, I cannot put the nitrogen that it takes to have a nice green lawn like that and, and still have my avocados looking good. So yeah, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and I'll keep you guys updated. Have a good day.